<laughs> yeah, so I'm so glad you guys could could do this today. Thank you for joining. And I wanted to add this conversation to that series and and show people, just regular people, why they should get involved with Stacks, why why you guys got in, involved with Stacks. Why don't we uh, go around the room first and uh, what what got you into crypto? What got you into Stacks? So for me, what got me into crypto was basically I was interested in um, economics, basically, how uh, currencies works. So for me, if you try to look at the current currency regime, currencies are inflationary by design, right? And uh, central governments have got control over all this power and people lose purchasing power over time. So for me, these uh, questions led me to discovering about Bitcoin. This was way back in 2017, that's when I actually started to know about Bitcoin. And then I think, uh, so that's how I basically got into a crypto. Then after that, I learned about other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and all those other coins that are out there, Litecoin, ETC. And uh, then about tax, what got me into this tax basically was the, was the blockchain.com airdrop, whereby they, uh, they gave everybody about hundred texts into their wallets, which was locked for one year. So that actually got me curious about the project. And I researched about it a bit, but it was, I think that was back in 2019, but there wasn't really much going on around the project. It was mainly about um, trying to create a new internet that's more like the new Google or something, or something like that. So I wasn't really into it, into it that much. But then it was when they rebranded Tex uh, 2.0, when they introduced Bitcoin as a settlement layer, that's when I actually got more interested into Tex. I was curious what they could do with Bitcoin, how they could actually bring DeFi to the Bitcoin network. So that's what got me up to this point. Then later on in January this year, I was, uh, is, is it March or April, I later on joined Free Road. So that's my journey from stacks up to Bitcoin. I uh, sorry, from Bitcoin up to stacks. Okay, thank you. Um, what got me to crypto? I think I like very much innovation, you know. And back back in 2012, I was a student, and I signed for Facebook for, for the first time. <laughs> you know, I I began I began searching for things. You know, basically, I'm a biology student. So we, they give us documentation and everything to search online. So I search everything. Excuse me for, for being very, very long in, in the history. So I got to learn about things. And I think back in 2017, I was looking at something called, called Bitcoin. And I start researching about it, researching about it, know what Bitcoin is. And I found out it was created in 2018, uh, two, two, 2008, I'm sorry, 2008. And I searched, I searched for it very, very much. And I signed for, my, for a wallet for the first time in blockchain in 2018. And 2019, they, they sent stats in my wallet as a part of airdrop. And I started researching about stocks and I can say after buying Bitcoin in 2017, it's a little bit Bitcoin. Uh, I, I, I almost interest in cryptocurrency. Yeah. And when I see stocks in my wallet, hundred stocks to be exact, I start researching about stocks and more things dropped me to stocks like freehold when i when i have uh, the opportunity to 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 join stacks it was louis Evian. i don't know if you know him so he he he, he introduced me to freehold and i said i was i signed i signed in freehold and that's my journey, my journey. So up to now, I only got Bitcoin and stocks. That's my favorite, my favorite cryptocurrency because I see what Bitcoin is and what 
Stacks is bringing to Bitcoin as part of the financial freedom for everyone in the world. And ex essentially, when I when I see what Bitcoin want to be in in the world, like giving authority to every age of individuals, and I want I want to be part of it, especially in our zone here area in West Africa. Everything is very 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 difficult hard for people as there is a there is more there, there is much much more everything is very hard everything is hard and that's why i was that's why I, i'm leading a, a group a small group here for crypto 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 classes and we are all in but i didn't i didn't tell them about stars because they they are they are really on the on the floor they they don't know anything about crypto right now so i think i will introduce it to there for i think i think it's a plan for me so that's what i'm going to crypto and that's what i'm working in stacks and i'm very glad to be part of this thank you that my journey into Bitcoin, I, I, I knew about it in 2009 and I wasn't sure what it was. And then skip forward to 2015, I heard this news story that some person had paid 10,000 Bitcoin for two pizzas. And at the time, I still thought it was just, it, it was just some internet uh, virtual currency. And, and I, I just, I didn't know what it was. and but I, I i'll never forget that story about that guy uh buying two pizzas for ten thousand bitcoin because ten thousand bitcoin is easily and they have commemorated that pizza yeah pizza bitcoin day yeah and and so that it's kind of they've made a meme out of it now but uh i mean it's that how much is that today over 200 million <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's, it's a lot of money a lot of money you know yeah that's a lot uh but so I, I knew about it and I still didn't know what it was. And uh, then into 2017, I, I that's when I first bought my first uh, Bitcoin and, and Ethereum and uh, a bunch of other uh, different digital assets and, and tokens that I don't even remember. Uh, but after the bull run, of course, like everyone else, I just thought it was gonna keep going up and then it crashed and then uh, probably I'm sure I lost money when I when I if I factor all of the transactions and all of the fees into it, and so I, I kind of forgot about it too. And I, and then in 2018, 19, I started to see the trending up again. So uh, that's when um, I bought into the ICO right after the 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 crash because I I started to read about Bitcoin. I started to read about stacks at the time they had the proof of burn consensus so I, I just thought this is different they're building on top of bitcoin and and they have applications they they'll have other uh, ways to connect on top of bitcoin and and everything that stacks is building today if you can imagine ethereum but based on clarity smart contracts that is an interpreted language on top of Bitcoin, that that's everything and more. And then you you get more sound money principles on top of Bitcoin. And so the the future with the future of Stacks is so clear to see where this is headed and where it's going. Especially when people learn that you can stack your STX and earn Bitcoin as a reward. And and then we're seeing these really innovative projects like a uh, Miami Coin with City Coins you can mint new tokens uh, for Miami coin, then you could stack those and earn more STX. And then with that STX, you can earn more Bitcoin. I mean, what, there isn't any other chain on this planet that could do something like that with Bitcoin. So when you start to think about where the innovation lies and, and, and then all the projects coming online and, and then the digital identities with the Gaia storage and, and how, um, how, how Stax is really building on the principle of the user owned internet. I mean, all of these things coming together is so clear that this is going to be a place that 
a, a lot of thought leaders and a lot of brain power and talented people will want to be. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, I, I'm still fairly young. And so when, when Bitcoin was first kind of coming on the scene, I heard about it in like 2011, 2012. I thought, oh, well, that's that's interesting. But um, I was my worldview and everything, I was still very ignorant as to just how much inflation can affect the average person and how, you know, just uh, typical U.S. policies and being on being get, getting off the gold standard and petrodollar and uh, exporting the U.S.'s inflation around the world. And, you know, I, I wasn't privy to all of that at the time. And so things were just kind of it seemed like a, a solution to at the time that maybe I didn't understand the problem. And so as I kind of grew and developed some skills and was able to get some work, uh, here comes 2017 and Bitcoin comes back on and the, you know, it, it really starts to shine a light a little bit on, on what I could see the future being. And so, you know, I, I'm able to invest a little bit, but uh, I'm still just, you know, still fairly young. It's not like I was able to invest a lot. And so I, I learned about it and we went through that, you know, boom bust cycle. And it seemed like, you know, everybody lost interest. And for me, it was like, okay, well, it's growing, but it, it appears that it's not ready for worldwide adoption yet. And so I kind of just continued, you know, keeping, keeping an eye on it, but not necessarily diving in as much as I really wish I would have. But um, I still, I, I never sold anything. I can say that with a lot of pride that I've, I've never sold a sat. So that's, that's the plan. Um, anyway, so, um, 2020 comes around and, you know, all of our worlds got shaken up and, uh, you start losing trust in institutions and you start losing trust in the, the kind of worldview that you've built. And you, you start realizing that, um, Bitcoin is a solution in search of a, it's, it's not in search of a problem. It, it really is solving uh, quite an important problem of uh, being able to, you know, store the value of your hard work and be able to export that into the future and it still be worth just as much, if not more. And so, you know, to, to me, there's an incredible amount of value there. Um, and uh, the just the ability to, to transact, the ability to store, uh, to, you know, storing it yourself, the self-sovereignty is really the thing that gets me with Bitcoin the most. And so, um, you know, we get into 2020, you, you know, worldview starts changing a little bit. And I say, OK, well, yeah, I'm going to dive deeper into this. And so start investing more in Bitcoin, reading more about it, reading more, you know, learn, learning as much as I can. And um, so w once I kind of get a good understanding of Bitcoin, OK, you know, what are these other projects out there? I learn a little bit about Ethereum and really the, the uses of smart contracts and things of like that. And uh, I reach a point where it's like, okay, well, that's useful technology. And then I and I start learning about proof of stake and things. And I, I was not not a fan of um, how that is set up. And you know, I'm a huge. I, I don't I don't believe in that as a, a good protocol. I don't think it's a winning protocol. And so I was kind of in, I was searching for projects that I thought that, you know, had the same values and ethos as Bitcoin, but would provide the broad smart contract functionality to really build out the future that I was seeing. And so eventually I stumbled upon Stacks via Twitter, really. And so um, invested a little bit, learned a lot. And the more I learned, the more I saw it as solving a lot of the problems I see in the world. And you know, um, when when you feel like you can see the the tides turning and, and what could really be beneficial for the world population in the future, you know, um, I, I felt as though that Stacks was solving a lot of those problems, and I had the potential to solve all of those problems. And so, you know, from there, I just dove in deeper and learned a little bit more about the existing DeFi protocols that existed out there and, um, you know, was able to, to develop an understanding of how a lot of our financial institutions work today and how DeFi is cutting out the middleman, how it's going to be much more efficient and it's going to allow your, your average person in the world to contribute and 
uh, ways of making money and, and investing that really only a certain class or subsect of people are able to do now. So, um, and the fact that that is going to be eventually uh, put forth on the Stacks ecosystem, you know, built on top of Bitcoin, that just, to me, that was the cherry on top, so. Are you guys involved with any uh, decentralized autonomous organizations within Stacks? I know you're a part of Freehold, but are there any other projects in Stacks that are really fascinating for you guys? Yeah, for me, it's a Civita Guild. Okay, uh, Civita Guild? Yeah. What What are you doing in there? Are you kind of just uh, looking around, seeing where you can uh, get involved, or are you actively participating in, in one of the channels or one of the projects? Not really. Right now, I'm not really participating in any project inside the Civic, the Civic Guild because I'm partly remotely working somewhere. So I don't have so much time to, to be part of, to, to get involved in their project, but I'm seeing everything they are doing and it's a great thing to, 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 to wish from there. And right now um, I, I, I have some projects, so I, I will I will try to reach out to there uh, to I mean Asteria and people there to see how we can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the same also goes for me. I'm not participating in any DAO per se on Astex currently, but I I do look around at, uh, into some of the projects on on Stex, uh, especially uh, uh Vera Guild and uh, other programs like uh, Rider. I'm just interested in these projects. But currently, I'm not actively participating in, in, in any of them. So I think that's all for me. But uh, I would actually like to, to participate. I'll, I'll actually see how, how sex is going to evolve and see where I can actually pitch in and help uh, grow the community. So I think that's all for me. I think Carl, you have, I see your logo as, I think you, you're, you have been involved with uh, buying or purchasing uh, punks on stacks. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. I own a few punks. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us about why you're interested in NFTs on stacks or uh, why you decided to purchase a, a, a punks on stacks? Okay, for me in the NFT market, I'm really interested in punks, in actually NFTs on stacks because I really want to see what the developers can do with uh, the, the uh, connection between stacks and Bitcoin. Imagine if you can actually buy an NFT directly using Bitcoin and having that NFT being sent to your STX address directly with no stacks needed. I think that's that, that is pretty cool and i'm really looking forward to some other projects on stacks doing that i'm also interested in uh boom boxes because boom boxes they have this sort of mechanism whereby they uh lock up some stacks into a into an into an nft and you can actually end stacking rewards through that nft so i'm bullish on uh, nfts on bitcoin through stacks so that's why i just or a punk was I think the idea of actually having a, an uh, NFT being secured on Bitcoin or maybe the future possibility of uh, being able to buy an NFT using Bitcoin directly through a smart contract with no wrapped a Bitcoin or anything like that but with Bitcoin on mainnet buying an NFT is just an intriguing idea for me so that's why I just bought a punk because I think that the, the idea of punks on Bitcoin products is revolutionary and could actually uh, be better than the idea of uh, punks on some other chain, maybe uh, um, Ethereum, which is having some ghastly problems and other chains which are a bit scammy, I don't know, but I think having a punk that's anchored directly onto Bitcoin or, a, or, or an NFT that's anchored to Bitcoin is way better than any other chain. So that's why I'm into NFTs on Bitcoin through stacks. So I think that's it from me.
uh, I'm glad you brought up boom boxes because uh, I I have minted an NFT on on Boom Wallet and we are super bullish on Boom and and the Boom boxes. Have you uh, been able to get a Boom box? Uh, no, Ted. I haven't been able to buy a Boom box yet. Yeah, but I have got uh, I've minted a few NFTs on the on the wallet and it's pretty simple and easy, easier than awesome. I thought and. And the gas fee is like zero. Uh, if we if, if we try to, to compare with uh, another um, Ethereum or some other chains, it's way cheaper. And boomboxes, I'm actually waiting for for the market for boomboxes to to open, and maybe I'll I'll get lucky and buy one and just hold it maybe and just uh, try to flip it or something. But as of now, I don't own any boomboxes, but I'm but I'm on the lookout for them. And also, uh, Munib just shared a tweet yesterday. Uh, uh, Balaji went on a tweet storm, and he he was talking about if you can create NFTs based on the amount of Bitcoin that you have hodling. And I think that would be fascinating because within Freehold, they, you have a hodl score. And imagine doing other things with that. So imagine like a boom box, but with a with a proof of hodl score, and you create NFTs. From that, how how fascinating would that be? Yeah, that would be super cool. Has anyone uh, used the catamaran swap or tried that at all? No, I don't. I didn't try it really. I don't really try it for now, but I'm I'm about to try with buying something with someone. That's why I see someone asking for boomboxing in the Telegram group. So I proposed to him how much he, he want, but I didn't take the, the decision to sell it because I know I know what boombox is right now. So I think as I have different type of boombox right now, I think I'm, I'm going to sell one through Catamaran Swap and see what it's really going to be. Yeah, I think that's our uh, end. I uh, actually talked to him on uh, Twitter. He's looking yeah. for a boombox. The first edition, I think. Yeah, he wants yeah. one. So, uh, he, saw, uh, so he asked. He asked for the the second one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so you can, uh, are you selling a first edition boombox? I, I I mean, I want to I want to try to sell it through, through Catmaran Swap because just through Catmaran Swap. Hotel Stacks. Have you used a Catmaran Swap or a uh, 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 Punks on on Stacks? Yeah. So. Um... Yeah, for, for me, I, I haven't used a catamaran swap yet. Uh, I'm definitely going to be here in the near future. Um, but as for the, the Stax Punks, when they went live, I, I think I was one of the first people to buy one. It was back when it was listed as uh, 100 Stax uh, a Punk. And so I, I went ahead and I, I, I knew the fact that, um, you know, NFTs interest me because I see the world moving as more of digital identity digital interaction we already spend quite a bit of time on in in the web and so you know i think it's with technology it's just going to become more and more uh, a part of our lives so I, I figured it's interesting to have that digital identity and something that is is known throughout the world and so you know i, I figured i'd try one and then they lowered the price and i was able to get um you know they, they were they were willing to work with me and give me uh 10 stacks punks at 10 stacks which is what they were listed at after that so it was that was very nice of them to do um you know they obviously didn't have to do that so it was nice uh for them as a community to come together and, and set the price and everything so have and, you managed to actually flip any of them or we are still holding have you managed to sell any of them or we are, or we are still holding them or? oh I'm, I'm still holding them i mean for for me <laughs> i view it as a uh a very long term i'm just going to hold them and kind of forget about them and you know when, when they when they reach you know kind of more wide adoption you know I, i'm i'm very bullish on stacks becoming very widely adopted so uh if stacks becomes widely adopted i view that these nfts will as well and um i'm also interested in minting a few others i I've, i was actually talking to an artist on uh, DM over Twitter and was, was talking with them. And I, I believe in the future, 
um, there's talk there's talk of use cases of having a boombox where you use it to stack stacks and that yield that you're getting you could distribute part of it to say the original artist and then you get the other part and that would be kind of like a royalty payment back to the artist and so i think that use case is really interesting and so i was talking to this artist about possibly having one of his pieces of art minted but maybe once that becomes kind of uh, an established um, thing that you can do and yeah, as for me crazy. having yeah as for me having nft on on top of that is 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 a key to is a key to the future of nft as small contract the nfts are backed they are backed by smart contracts so having nft on start is like you have smart contract on bitcoin could you figure it out that for the next next years we can program these nfts to do something as their smart contract and you have the key to stacks and to the bitcoin you see what i mean mm-hmm. yeah uh, that, that's, that's really that that's really that's really my that's why I, I buy I bought I also bought a, a stack spans and right now I'm really bullish about Momento how how Momento is about to do uh, I don't know if you see it but I, I published something about the their 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 pages because I I, I did some research and I, I think they are really they are bringing NFT to the social media and see how how NFT will be useful on social media as up to now right now big big I, th- I mean everything posted on media is, is for the, this media this social media you, you don't own it you see you don't own it right now yeah, if you decentralized like social media it, is the future yeah if you post something on social media it's not for you it's for this social media right now so momento is trying to do something very it's like tiktok you see tiktok if you see tiktok as tiktok is becoming in the world is very very big so but any of this creator doesn't uh, any of this creator have the access to their they don't, don't have access to their content you see that's why i'm really bullish about momento and especially on stacks because when you have something on stacks, it's like you have some, the keys to Bitcoin. That, 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 that's really great. That's a great innovation for me. That's why I'm really bullish and the ownership, especially. And I'm trying to look at how we can do about stacks on Bitcoin again, which is not anywhere you can see other than stacks and Bitcoin. Model stacks. I wanted to ask you. You had a, a tweet storm going. Uh, what did what did what were you talking about uh, regarding like the future of STX, where the percentage of of uh, stacks earning Bitcoin yield would be higher and and then decrease over time, or it, it would increase year over year? Yeah. So I was uh, I was kind of looking at the uh, user adoption of stacks as the um, kind of a, a growing and growing sound curve of uh, folks that will stack away their stacks. So in the beginning here, you know, since Stacks 2.0 just launched in January, um, the the main use case that we're able to do right now with Stacks is we can we can stack it. And then, you know, of course, um, we have all of these projects that are being built on, on it for us to use it for other uh, other means, right? And so as, as time progresses, we're going to be using our stacks to be minting NFTs, to be um, building, used in all of these dApps, used in you know um, liquidity pools for like Arcadico and other things. And so as we get more and more use cases for what to use our stacks on, um, the uh, I see the adoption or the, uh, you know, so that's user adoption growth, right? And so I see that the amount stacked will then um, start play. It'll start falling because we'll, it'll be used more and more um, kind of how like Ethereum is used, right? 
And so the the more and more use cases of stacks being used this way, um, I see it falling. And then, you know, as uh, more and more people, and then I was looking at it in the short term as well, we have a lot of things coming up in the near future that will, um, I think that will drive a lot of interest and that'll be increasing our yields as stackers as well. Um, as you guys know, the, the more people that use stacks and are building out all of these um, smart contracts that there's fees collected and those fees collected on top of the mining reward are then returned back to us as the stackers, right? So um, from there, that's, that's a chance at increased yield. And on top of that, we have the uh, we have the ability in the near future with the uh, side pool, the the mining pool, so that you, um, if you feel inclined, you can mine uh, in this pool using Bitcoin, and you can get back a you know your proportionate amount that you put forth in Bitcoin back in stacks, and so. Um, I think that's kind of creating a more open market for the mining process of stacks. And what that'll do is that'll drive more interest into um, mining, which means more Bitcoin put forth for each block. Um, and in a way, that's uh, the market being able to, to really establish that what they're, um, what they're bidding on, that stack, that's kind of more like stacks real value. So the, 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 more, the more open mining is to the public, I think that's more indicative of the real value of stacks. And so I know there's a lot of us that are probably wishing we could mine stacks right now, but we also don't want to spend our precious Bitcoin. And it takes, um, you know, a large, large amount of Bitcoin to, to properly mine stacks and be profitable, right? So the, the mining pool lets you do that without having to break the bank and you get the, um, the law of large numbers on your side at that point, so. Thanks so much for your time today, everyone, and we'll be in touch. So this is gonna be phenomenal for people just to tune in and learn more about Stacks and just see like, we're just average Joes and anyone can participate in this. It's open, it's open source, it's, it's available permissionless. Yeah, so for yeah. me right now, Best place to find me, interact with me is on Twitter. I'm at HODL Stacks, uh, STX. And um, yeah, reach out uh, if you guys are listening to this, if you guys are new to Stacks or if you're a veteran, um, we, we can chat and hopefully we can learn together. Yeah, I'm on algorithm.bitcoin. Let me say it easily. Algorithm.btc on Twitter handle. And if you want to, to reach out to me you can reach out to me on twitter and i'm i'm always there tweeting about bitcoin and stocks and everything related to stocks for the be the, the better world so i'm at cow underscore zw you can find me i think on twitter i use that uh, same username i also use the same username on telegram and on my instagram so it's just cow underscore zw Follow all of us for more content related to Stacks ecosystem, Stacks developments, and to remember that we're we're all in crypto, Bitcoin, Stacks because we want to create open source, permissionless, and censorship resistant systems and money across the globe. Thanks for watching our short series built on Stacks, secured by Bitcoin. Thanks to Freehold and Trevor and the Stacks Accelerator. Zero Authority is a community of people who believe in open source and permissionless systems. Remember why you started.